Hello everyone, welcome back to the course on Energy Management and Audit. I am Triveli Naidu from the Department of Electrical Engineering at St. Vincent Paloti College of Engineering and Technology, Nagpur. In the previous video, we have seen the global and Indian energy scenario. If you have not watched the previous video, go and visit the description box wherein you will find the link. This subject is in line with the syllabus given by bwe.gov.in for the exam of energy auditor and energy manager. And in this video, we shall see the global environmental concerns like for example pollution, greenhouse effect, global warming, CO2 emission, loss of biodiversity and other major problems due to climatic change. So let's get started. These are the old question asked in the old university question papers. So I hope this is useful for the Nagpur University students. Global environmental concerns. The usage of energy resources in industry leads to environmental damage by polluting the atmosphere. For example, using coal and other products results into release of harmful pollutants. Now these pollutants could be sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide, carbon monoxide from boilers and furnaces, then CFCs from the refrigerants and in chemical and fertilizer industries, toxic gases are released, cement plants and power plants spread particulate matter. So there are so many environmental issues we are facing right now. Air pollution. Air pollution is another important aspect in both in developed nations as well as rapidly industrializing countries. The major historic air pollution problem has typically been high levels of smoke and SO2 arising from combustion of sulfur containing fossil fuels such as coal for domestic and industrial purpose. Then in addition to this, there are photochemical reaction resulting from the action of sunlight and NO2, nitrogen dioxide and what we get is VOCs. What are VOCs? Volatile organic compounds. They are created when toxic chemical vaporize and form harmful gases. So it is so dangerous. A secondary long range pollution which impacts in rural areas often far from original emission sites. Then another thing is acid rain, another long range pollutant influenced by vehicle nitrogen oxides emissions. Then the principal pollutants that are present could be sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, particulate matter, carbon monoxide, ozone hydrocarbons, benzene, 1,3, butadiene, toxic organic micropollutants, lead and heavy metals. So, let us take for example, New Delhi. It has recently been in news. This is image is taken from News Mobile State Bureau. It is a release of October 15, 2018. But nevertheless, if I talk about today's scenario, in the starting of this year itself, according to System Air Quality and Weather Forecasting and Research, SAFAR, the quality index AQI is very low at Delhi. If AQI is between 0 to 50, we consider good. If it is 51 to 100, we say it is satisfactory. If it is 101 to 200, we say that it is moderate. If it is 201 to 300, we say that it is poor. And if it is 301 to 400, we say it is very poor. And if it is greater than 401, then we say it is very severe. That means something has to be done about this. And Delhi was recorded to have AQI of 387. That is in the category of very poor. Gurugram was 341, Ghaziabad 389, Faridabad 342 and Noida 375. 
so you see how the aqi has increased which is not at all desirable for us carbon emissions the carbon emissions have also increased considerably the source for this graph is global regional and national fossil fuel co2 emission you find we have plotted a graph from 1900 to 2010 and you see there is such a lot of increase no decrease only the peaks have increased the emission of carbon dioxide has increased very significantly global carbon emission from fossil fuels have been significantly increased since 1900 since 1970 CO2 emission have increased by 90% with emission from fossil fuel combustion and industrial processes contributing about 78% of the total greenhouse gas emission so see how it is increased from 1970 to 2011 so we see here carbon emission rates then this carbon significantly affects us how greenhouse effect we all know what is greenhouse effect what happens in greenhouse effect sun which is the ultimate source of energy radiates energy in the form of heat energy and this heat energy reaches the earth and what happens energy is taken by the earth okay this energy is absorbed by the earth why it, is it absorbed by the earth because we are having a blanket or we can say there's a layer of these gases co2 and other gases in the atmosphere trap the heat that is what it is doing if this layer was not present what would have happened we wouldn't have been able to trap the energy we wouldn't have been able to trap this heat then we would die out of cold right but because of the presence of this blanket this gases this layer of gases the energy the heat energy that has been radiated from the sun is absorbed and some radiations are reflected back into the space so this is how the earth keeps itself warm and we are able to meet our requirements otherwise there would have been immense cold so greenhouse effect is actually good also for us but now what is happening unfortunately let's see life on earth is made possible by energy from the sun which arrives mainly in the form of visible light about 30% of the sunlight is scattered back into the space by the outer atmosphere and the balance 70% reaches the earth surface which reflects it in form of infrared radiations the escape of slow moving infrared radiation is delayed by the greenhouse gases so a thicker blanket of greenhouse gases trap more and more infrared radiation and increase the earth's temperature so that means what is happening consequently this layer that we see over here is becoming thick and thick and that is why it is not letting the radiations to reflect back into the space so the result is global warming now what happens in global warming the sun radiates energy in the form of heat radiations it comes on the mother earth earth starts to get this energy absorbs this energy but it is not able to reflect it back properly because the blanket of gases widens and it does not permit trapped heat to escape raising the temperature of the earth extremely so we are into great difficulty now global warming is a phenomena of climate change characterized by a general increase in average temperature of the earth which modifies the weather balances and ecosystems for a very long time it is directly linked to the increase of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere worsening the greenhouse effect so see now global warming another important problem now the effect of increase in earth's temperature are as follows another major issue loss of biodiversity the increase of temperature and the climate upheavals 
disturb the ecosystems it modifies the condition and cycle of plant reproduction the scarcity of resources and climate change are changing the life habitats migratory cycles of the animals we are already witnessing the disappearance of many species and we are also witnessing some species they are coming into india and threatening the crops according to intergovernmental panel on climatic change a 1.5 degree average rise might put 20 to 30% of species at risk and if the planet warms by more than 2 degree centigrade most ecosystem will struggle this is what recent news it is attack of locust what is happening these species are migrating from other countries to our nation because of the environmental effects habitat loss is a major threat to biodiversity you see there is habitat degradation there is exploitation of these species there is invasive species and diseases pollution climatic changes so so many factors are there which is influencing biodiversity the graph clearly indicates birds reptiles and amphibians mammals and fish what range are they lying inside how much threat are they having as far as habitat exploitation pollution climatic change and these factors are concerned this is a sample taken from world wildlife fund living planet report 2018 according to bbc news another impact is on ocean because of global warming the ice is melting massively at the poles sea level at a rate never known before acidification of ocean amount of co2 being captured in the ocean makes it acidic and what are affected the sea shells and coral reefs they are all affected on human beings climatic change is affecting global economy already shaking up social health and geopolitical balances in many parts of the country why go ahead we see in india itself we are importing such a lot of things from outside nations why because we are not having deposits be it oil be it coal because it's being depleted and there is scarcity of resources like food and energy and it gives rise to new conflicts and we are struggling rising sea level results into floods they are causing population migration small island states are in front line on weather it is the impact is really huge on weather there are more droughts heat waves more precipitation more natural disasters like floods hurricanes storms wildfires frost free seasons now recently we had it in orissa so there are so many difficulties we are facing in today's world then another is acid rain acid rain is caused by release of sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides from combustion of fossil fuels which mix with water vapor in atmosphere to form sulfuric and nitric acids respectively we find the effect of acid rains as follows it acidifies the lake streams and soil direct and indirect effects release of metal for example aluminum which washes away plant nutrients then killing of wildlife trees crops aquatic plants and animals decay of building materials paints statues and sculptures and so many things then other health issues this is another example fire at forest in australia we are all familiar to this what was the reason the reason was environmental degradation the environmental effects correct so these are all the major issues that's all for this video in next video we shall see more environmental aspects as far as co2 emissions are concerned we will also study about carbon trading and carbon footprints 
Thank you so much for your patience listening. Have a wonderful learning.